And it's time now for Motion to Adjourn with MP Chris Famous and Dwayne Robinson. Good afternoon, brother Dawn. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? I'm back. Well, you're back. In <laughs> yeah, studio. I'm back in house. No, yeah. no, no sketchy phone calls. as the dodgy phone calls, as they say. You know, all those three ways we've been having overseas. Uh, that, 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 let's, <laughs> let's, let's put in context. Yeah. Three-way phone calls. Yes. Because people say, oh, your boy's been away doing three ways. Oh, is he? <laughs> oh I know. My, I, my apologies. Like, <laughs> knowledge, you got to clean it up, right? Yeah, yeah, because, you know, things <laughs> things are totally taken out of contact. People people will take a little audio clip and put that up on social media. And next thing you know, they're making three ways. Next thing you know, they're making you and I TikTok. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> making TikTok videos out of me. Ways. Guys talking about three ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mercy. Yeah. No, three way conversation via phones, folks. All right. Let's get that sorted out. All right. And good afternoon, most importantly, good afternoon to the listeners of Bermuda. How are you all doing on this wet Thursday? So, Brother Dawn, today we have a very special guest, a lady who many love. No love and respect. I call her my elder, but she's her memory is sharper than mine. And um, that is going to be the one and only Mrs. Joy Wilson Tucker. Mrs. Joy Wilson Tucker is going to speak about Bermudian family connections. Uh-huh. You ever been to a wedding or something and you're looking at somebody and somebody says, hey, don't, don't look at her, that's your cousin. You know? Yeah, yeah. Or oh, family reunion, you're looking around and say, wait a minute, hey, what well, you doing here? Yeah, why are you here? You, you're in the wrong spot, bro. You're in the wrong spot, man. Or you go to a funeral, or your mama's, or granny's, or his aunt is like, you know that's your cousin, see your, see, see your name? Yeah. That's, that. Come and on, man. Uh, unfortunately, in Bermuda, as small as we are, we don't know all our family. You may know a bulk of your family, maybe just the immediate people. Yeah. You might not know who your granny's, sister's, cousins, auntie, son, so, yeah. so today, Mrs. Joy Wilson Tucker, who was, she was our guest, um, for those who remember, she was our guest during, um, leading up to Cop Match, who I told remember. us the origins of Cop Match mm-hmm. re- originated out of a lodge in St. George's and a lodge in the other part of the country that we don't really talk about that much. Oh, okay, you're yeah, right, right. And Those she, guys. And she, she also educated us that there was a difference between the colors. Like, you know, in, in St. George's, it's sky blue and navy blue. Up the country, it's, you know, whatever whatever they call it up there, right? <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor, poor guys. <laughs> yeah, so, you know. Yeah, this and them fellas up there. So today we're going to have a, a conversation with Mrs. Joy Wilson Tucker. But before we before we get into that, we just want to give some condolences out to some families in Bermuda. Um, starting off with um, the family of Mr. Damon Bell, Mr. Irvin Burgess, Miss Edith Douglas, and uh, a lady from my neck of town, Rosalind Riz Francis. So condolences to those family. I know there are other families grieving, um, but you just want to give our condolences to those families. Good afternoon, my elder. How are you? And good afternoon to you. Your elder's doing quite well. Thank you. And I must give you condolences as well, I see. Yes. See, I know my people, you know. Well, somebody had to whisper it to you. No, nobody whispered. I do my <laughs> research, and I'm like, okay, okay. All right. Good afternoon, Mrs. Joy Wilson Tucker. How are you today? I'm doing very well, thank you, and good afternoon to you, and good afternoon to Bermuda. Thank you for returning to our show once again. Mm-hmm. And today we are doing, as I as I told the people of Bermuda, um, we are talking about Bermudian family connections, correct? Yes, we are. So... On that note, I will turn the floor over to you. Okay. What I'd like to do 
is open with, because you do know that I do poetry, Mm -hmm. and in order to call off some of the names that are connected to me, um, some time back I did a poem, and I'd like to open with that, if you don't mind. No problem. Okay, it's called, it's entitled, One Family Tree. Some of the family titles run like trailing vines. There's Mallory Stowe Dill, then Deminx comes behind. There's Dillworth, Wilson Williams, Wilkerson, Grant, and Trotz. Now wait, if I continue, we'll have the haves and the have-nots. Along comes Curtis, Brangman, Armstrong, Simmonses, and Smith. Then add Battersby, Woolridge, Witter, Martin, and Enos to the list. There are Butterfields, Talkers, Librans, Richardsons, and Minks. Then Lockheed Thomas, DeShields, Simons, and Terrells join the links. We learned that Anderson, Pearman, Bartell Knights, Goddard, Evans, and Richards, too, really didn't mind at all joining the family queue. So DeSilva, Harrison, Ingham, and West came joyously along with Burgess, Irish, Robinsons, and Weiss among the happy throng. Now Rollins, Rubain, Fabla, and Swan, let's make it perfectly clear that you belong to this family chain, so please don't despair. Now Raina, Peterson, Hassel, and Jones have surely taken their stand among the links of the growing chains with the Bassett, Wilson, and Dill clan. It might seem to you not entirely true that I have such a large family tree. But just look behind at the family line, for it's very plain to see. Now, I mustn't forget to tell you all about Seaman, Butler, Fox, and Lee, and all those I haven't mentioned who belong to this family tree. That's the poem. Is anyone's name left out? (laughs) More than likely, because <laughs> my my still my multiplying and and marrying my uh my my engineer my co-host is uh his last what's your last name sir Bassett sorry didn't hear you Bassett and I heard it <laughs> <laughs> I was listening out I said oh there we go from yeah. the from the uh, Life on Heritage I also uh, heard that so is, I'm, is, I'm is, is, I'm is covered is that is that the Life Bonds with the E or without the E uh this is the Life Bonds with the E. <clears throat> Okay. Yes, like with the knee. With the knee. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you for that that family tree poem, Mrs. Joy yeah. Wilson Tucker. Yeah, we I I wrote that when we had a family reunion in two thousand and one, and we had over we had it for three days actually, because we couldn't have it for just one day, in order to accommodate all the families, because we had quite a number that came in from overseas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we had it for three days and went to some of the places in the island after our research that we knew were connected with us. And then on the last day, we celebrated at the church where most of our, as, as, um, you know, our, our people went to the church where most of our ancestors worshipped during their early days where they married, where they were baptized, where they were buried. Which church would that have been? That would be at Christ Church in Devonshire. Sorry, say that last what? Say that last part. At Christ Church in Devonshire. What's, what parish did she say, Brother Dawn? <laughs> Devonshire. <laughs> okay, just wanted to make sure. Because that's where my, you know, I know I felt kind of left out just now. I was just thinking, I didn't hear famous come through. Why know, is that? that? It's only one, one family of famouses, right? Different ship. <laughs> Different ship. <laughs> well, the, the famouses are, are connected, aren't they, to the Wilkinsons? They are? <laughs> didn't didn't um, um, Mrs. Matthew marry a, Wil- a Wilson? Oh, the Wilsons. I know you said yeah. Wilkinson. I like Wilkinson. Well, some of those Wilsons were married to Wilkinsons as well. Okay. Now, I, I know of um, my, will be my grandfather's cousin, um, she was a famous, and she married. Uh, she married a Matthew, without the S. Without the S. Louisa, oh. Louisa married a Matthew without the S, and they, they primarily lived up Cedar Hill. Mm-hmm. And then uh, one of her daughters, Dottie, married uh, Mr. Married Wilson. Austin. Yeah. So that's that's the so, and their grandchild would be um, 
Honorable Kim Wilson. Yeah, that so. would be some of my relatives. Okay, so yeah. So now that you you've you've established that your family comes, so your family come from Devonshire. They just went to no, that. um, they actually started out in Devonshire. That would have been that would have been the Dill family that started out in Devonshire. Mm. But the Wilson family came between Warwick and Pembroke. Okay. Because but I'm basically going to tell you what really got me started in research as, as in, and in family research, because I didn't get into the, the historical research till years later, doing um, the researching of architecture and things like that. But the other research of going through family and news research and stuff, I actually picked that up from my mother as a, as a teenager, because my mother used to um, collect news clippings, mm-hmm. and I was always into the book and digging and searching and talking to her. And at some point she said, um, child, you might as well take that because at some point it's not going to be any service to me. And so that's what really got me started on, on searching news clippings and then searching for my, for my family because we seem like we branched from so many different, different people, you know, so we were really very curious and, being raised in the North Village, it was always, well, we called everybody aunt and uncle. So it never occurred to us that somewhere down the line that these folk might be actually our cousins or aunts and uncles. Mm-hmm. So in researching, this is some of the things that we found out as, we, as I went along. We've had, um, I think about three, yeah, we've had three reunions, the one in 2001, was the largest, you know, and and this is how we found out all these different persons that were were related to us. So the, the gentleman he just passed a, a few, I'll say a few months ago, Buller Wilkinson. Yeah, they would be related. Okay, mm-hmm. because the other, be, I I just I want to say this before I forget it, because your memory is better than mine. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> they reading that poem, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, a few months ago, I was down the islands in an island called Saint Eustatius, and mm-hmm. um, I get this WhatsApp from this lady, and I didn't, I didn't think I, no, I, I did know her, and she's like, "Oh, what you doing on there? You know that's where my um so and so people came from, and the last name, her last name, and the." Her ancestor's last name was Wilson as well. Mm-hmm. So I know that there were some Wilsons who came from St. Eustatius and some that did come, some did come from St. Kitts. Right. And see, when we, when we searched into our DNA, because we were very curious, too, to find out exactly where the, the titles came from, the Wilson, the Dill, the Smith, you know, whatever. And when we searched through our DNA, we found out that a lot of, a lot of the Wilson title, Wilson folk, came via Africa, um, you know, and and we were surprised, at least my brothers and sisters were, because I had always told them, you know that we crossed lines where you had deals, like you'd have two or three deals that would have married Wilsons, mm-hmm. right? And so which would have made, like, my mother's two sisters that married brothers they would have been sisters as well as sister-in-laws. <laughs> so, <laughs> was, that, was that unique to North Village? No, 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 no. no. Because, because remember now that they didn't do that much traveling unless they were going on a pushback bike, and most people lived within the confines of their communities. So you would have where there was a lot of, um, a lot of you know, marriages like that. Yeah, so it wasn't no exclusive to the village. Okay, I just I just I just checking because I don't want people to say, oh, you know, no. that's a North Village thing. No, no. Cause it was like when we had our reunion, it, there was a lot of a lot of shocked gentlemen there. I could tell you that. Oh man, don't tell me that's my cousin. You've got to be joking. No, 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 no. Uh, I mean, I thought I was going to start a riot. <laughs> did you? Did you ever had that problem, Don? No. When I went to a wedding and somebody said, "Don't look that way." No, <laughs> I knew my place. <laughs> I knew my place, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I, I would like to explain to people though that when you're when you're really doing research into your family, 
it is very important to realize that, like you just finished talking about the spelling of the names, mm-hmm. very often in the, a lot in the baptismal records, depending on how the, the minister wrote it down into that record, some would spell it how they thought it was supposed to be spelt. And so they would leave off an E, or they would add an S, or they would put an L into the Wilson, where you would have it spelt with two L's instead of one. So those are a lot of things that when popular people are researching their families that they really have to be careful of. Because we, in, in my lineage, we had the Peruvian Indian who married Portuguese. Now, the Portuguese initially was Domingue Ferreira. They dropped Ferreira, and then they eventually dropped the D, E, or for Minx. And so they, everybody, when they married, they married under the name of Minx. So mm. this is where you get this line of Minx's here in Bermuda, like Marlene Minx and people like that. Charles Richardson, which is Marlene's son. Charles, he, Charles the Richardson, lawyer. the lawyer? Yeah, okay. he would be relative, related to me because his great-great-grandfather and my grandmother would have been sister and brother. Okay, small world. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's, you know, with that lineage, you know. But you have to be extremely careful because, and then again, a lot of people um, just didn't, like like you heard me call Bartler, one of the uncles didn't like the name of, of the Minx or Minx and changed his name to Butler. He just and arbitrary to so what, why why did he just pick Butler? Well, we we know that when Portuguese and all came here, how they were treated. And I've been made to understand that he, he initially held a position here as a butler. Oh, okay. And of course if they called him just Butler, the name stuck with him. Mm-hmm. And so when he married, he used that title. Butler. Yeah, and that's like um when you speaking of like spellings, it's like you look at a surname like Bayston, mm-hmm. and it probably has in Bermuda context, it probably has like three or four different, at least two or three different um, versions, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're like, no, I'm not that Bayston. I ain't got no, I ain't got no I in my name. You're like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you know, you're related or or the Simmons and Simons, like, yeah, yeah. Or or the, some will spell S Y M O N D S, right. Exactly. And, and you know, just like I think at uh, some time back, you had the, the, the weight deals, and it was always D-I-L-L. So one of the gentlemen came along and changed his spelling, D-I-E-L. D-I-E-L. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Deal. Yep. <laughs> I just told this up, but I hope he's gave the message to the good Lord above so he can identify him when he reaches if he reaches the pearly gates. Uh, uh. Because originally, the name in the baptismal records is D-I-L-L. Oh, okay. I think mm-hmm. I think I have, a, I won't say it, but I think I have an idea who you may be, <laughs> yes, may be referring, referring to. to. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, any any questions that anybody would like to ask? And always look behind um, if you're searching for information. If you haven't questioned your elders, which is most important, if you're that interested in your lineage, your family tree, who's your cousin, whomever. So what? which other, f- part from your immediate, or I shouldn't say immediate, or extended family, which other families that you know are connected? Okay, I've, I've um, researched uh, Tucker and Rowling family. Now, um, they come out of St. George. Mm-hmm. So I've researched them. I've researched the Preppers from Harris's Bay that are connected with the Hudsons in Harris's Bay. I've also recently did um, a Macintosh and Matthew and Thompson. And some of those also come out of St. George and um, in the um, Hamilton Parish area. Mm-hmm. And then I did uh, Mrs. Um, Edwina Smith before she passed because she was very curious about her lineage and her family were lost. And they, they um, were some of the very early persons that came here into Bermuda. But she was actually trying to find out who her grandmother would have been. 
Yeah, I had I had the privilege of serving with her on the Barclay Educational Society, mm-hmm. and um, one day I got a message that Miss Edwina wants to see you. Mm-hmm. So I went to her house, and um, this would have been her husband would have been Peter Smith, who was one of the yeah. founders of the PLP. Yeah, and um, so she sat me down and brought me some tea. And um, so she was saying that some of her family came from Turks and Caicos Island. Yeah, yeah. And um, and shortly thereafter, I got a call to say she had passed. So I was I was grateful for that one-on-one conversation yeah. with her. You know. Yeah. Um, see, yeah, in her in in her connections, not just um, related to the love, but the gentleman that used to operate the um, travel agent. On the corner there, on I think it's Parliament and Reed Street. With Donald Smith. The, the Donald Smith. They, that would have been her brother. Okay. Yeah. Her and brother or brother-in-law. Her brother. Because she was a Smith who married a Smith. Yep. <laughs> That's dangerous. Very. <laughs> <laughs> so which Smith are you? I'm the Smith from Smith Smith. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I tell you, those things happen. You had Smith that would, you know, marry Smith and what have you. Yeah, and um, also out of her family would have been the Mossons. The Mossons from down down Harris's Bay. Uh, some from Harris's Bay. Some um, uh, some of them I think lived right out here in in Frizzles Hill area. You had some Mossons that lived out through that area. Okay. Yeah. So um, Joanne Mosson and um, I, I can't remember her brother's name, but I know Joanne was I think one of the cousins or one of the nieces to Edwina. Let me ask you a very loaded question. Mm-hmm. And before, I'm going to ask the question, then we're going to go to the news, and then when you come back, you, know, you could answer the question. Okay. They have a saying down the east, from, from Shelley Bay to Bayless Bay is all one people. Mm-hmm. How true is that? That's the question. We're going to go to the news, and then we'll come back. Okay. It's getting warm and toasty at the Hamilton Princess and Beach Club. Our restaurant weeks lead the way with Afro beats and brunch to follow during Black History Month. Toasty Tuesdays will shake off the chills while our Valentine's Day dinners will ramp up the heat. It's the best place to be this winter at the Hamilton Princess and Beach Club. Find out more at thehamiltonprincess.com. Just because Christmas has passed doesn't mean the savings stop. Because Digicel believes in giving you more no matter the date. That is why when you switch your number to Digicel, you can get an additional $500 off of any device of your choice. With that savings, you can walk away from brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max for free. So why wait for those other guys to have a sale? Switch to the network that gives you more all year long. Because you plus Digicel equals better together. Visit our retail store or call 500 today. You're locked to Power 95, Bermuda's big station at 94.9 FM, a Bermuda Broadcasting Company station. Good evening, everyone. I'm Gray Miners with your top stories to the hour brought to you by Butterfield. Take control of your Butterfield credit card by downloading the Butterfield Card Alerts app. Monitor your spending activity with real-time transaction alerts sent directly to your mobile device. And if your card is lost or stolen, use the app to turn the card off, preventing any further transactions from being processed. Download the app from the Apple Store or Google Play Store today. Customized credit card controls. This is banking by Butterfield. The Bank of NT Butterfield & Son Limited is licensed to conduct banking business by the Bermuda Monetary Authority. Police yesterday executed a number of drug warrants in support of this past weekend's Operation Pegasus initiative. Officers from the Bermuda Police Service Drugs Unit Tactical Support Division and the Criminal Investigations Unit, led by Police Sergeant Jerry Waterman, executed warrants at residences in the eastern and western parishes, resulting in the seizure of a large quantity of cash under the Proceeds of Crime Act. Meanwhile, Detective Chief Inspector Sherwin Joseph of the Specialist Investigations Department provided an update on items seized during last weekend's exercise. Quote, We have now received confirmation from our senior government analyst that some of the substances seized during this weekend's operation contained the controlled drugs cocaine, heroin, and fentanyl. 
The Bermuda Police Service continues to appeal for anyone with information surrounding illegal drug activity to contact them by calling 211 or the main police number 295 -0011. The confidential Crime Stoppers number is 800-8477. Speaking with a police officer who you are familiar with, they say, is another means by which you may provide information to the police. Bermuda's travel authorization fee will be reduced from $75 to $40 starting on the 7th of next month, but will not be eliminated until March of next year. Premier David Burt defending government's decision to keep the travel authorization fee in place during a virtual town hall presentation earlier this week, despite some public outcry to exempt seniors and students or totally eliminate it due to the reduction in testing requirements on island. Premier Burt stating that the travel authorization fee is an important source of revenue for government to offset coronavirus expenditures. And those were your top stories to the hour brought to you by Butterfield. And now back to Motion to Adjourn with MP Chris Famous and Dwayne Robinson. And we're back mm -hmm. and we're doing some family connection. Before I go any further, Elder, I have a comment, two comments that came in via WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. um, the first one says hello to my Mersley club friend i'm just gonna just leave that one alone and then uh another person sent sent in a message saying i sure i heard the lady say mallory did yeah. you say, did you say mallory yes so what what we're gonna do now is gonna open up the phone lines two nine two nine five nine five if anybody wants to call in because this is a very rare opportunity where you have a living and breathing encyclopedia of Bermuda, <laughs> Bermuda family connections. So call us so you can find out who you're related to. If it's already too late, well, it's too late. But, yep. um, yeah, give us a call, 292-9595. So, as we said before, the question before was from Shelly Bay to Bayless Bay. Mm -hmm. Are they all related? Yes. That's a very short answer. Are you sure? Well, like I told you, I researched the Ferbert family. Mm -hmm. And that Ferbert family, when you asked me the question about was it exclusive to North Village about cross marriage and intermarriage and whatever, no. Mm -hmm. It was definitely took place down there in that area. So Where cousins so married a cousin. Oh, and uh, yeah, everybody yeah. there is related. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have a customer on the phone. Good afternoon. Welcome to Motion to Adjourn. How are you doing? Good afternoon, brother Chris. How you doing, bro? I'm blessed. Hi. This is me, Fred Mallory. Hey. I, 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 listen, I know who my grandfather was. His name was John Mallory. But outside of that, I have no idea. None. Uh, are you was... connected to Quentin Mallory? Pardon? Do you know Quentin Mallory? Quentin's my cousin. I know that. Okay. Well, Quinton's, Quinton's mother, which we called Aunt Violet, and Quinton's two uncles married my two aunties. All right, they, mar they, married, they married whites. Aunt Violet was a white. Yeah, I've heard she married of Aunt, Mallory. Aunt I've Violet heard of Aunt Mallory. Violet. But yes, I've heard of her. Yeah, she married, she married a Mallory. And her okay. two brothers, which was Arthur and Leonard, they each married one of my aunties. Oh, so where, where? Jesus. But How about the painters from St. George's? Because I'm from St. George's, oh, you know, that's a good, good I'm country. I'm not going to go that far, but I'll tell you one thing else about the Mallory. My great, great, great ancestor that was brought her into Bermuda was named Rachel Mallory. And Rachel she had a Mallory? daughter named Julia Ann who married Adil. She was Julia Ann Stowe, and she married See, Adil. And I've been so that I've was been, the Peruvian Indian. I've been asked, Am I related to the deals? Yes, you are like related 12. to the deals and the whites. And the whites. Mm hmm. Uh, the white whites or the 
black he weights. Weight, built in weight, Dick weight. They referred to him as Dick weight, cow weight, the cow, Marty what, cow Martin weight, weight and all that was um, connected with the Barclay School. Um, oh. All of the all of those type of people there that the, you would be connected to. Okay, so so Miss Tucker, mm-hmm. I know that my grandfather's had a daughter. Her last name was Tucker from Somerset, but I would like, um, after I get off the phone from you, if I could sit, I would like to sit down and talk to you mm-hmm. myself, because yeah. my family, I know that um, some of the Mallory's, mm-hmm. I Googled Shepherd's Mallory. I don't know if you ever heard of Shepherd's Mallory. No, Shepherd's Mallory was one of these slaves that escaped to the um, Freedom, Freedom Fort in the States. Right, I haven't. It was I haven't it was three them. of them, right. and he was one of them. Mm-hmm. So I went back that that far, but I still have no idea who my great grandfather was or anything like that. So um, after that, I can call Chris later, and uh, if it's okay with you, get your number, and then you and I agree sit down and talk. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right, Fred. All right, Chris. Cool. Okay. That's a that's a satisfied customer. Most definitely. <laughs> so on so you can say without hesitation or unequivocation that everybody on Bayless Bay and Shelly Bay are related. Everybody down in that area that I've researched thus far are related. Okay. Unless some of them moved from up in this area and moved on into that area. In later years, but almost everybody down in that area, just about everybody is related. Because that's the thing is that two of my children uh, come out of the, the Gibbons clan, mm-hmm. and um, they had a family reunion, <laughs> and this was way before COVID, and right. they had to have this wide, wide, wide angle lens to take mm-hmm. a picture of Justin P. They had to be a good 600 people showed up. Anyway, we have another customer on the phone. Welcome Thank to you. Motion to Adjourn. Good evening. Good evening. Could you turn on your radio in the background? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. In reply to Miss Wilson's statement about Donald Smith's wife, I could have sworn that I was told years ago that Mrs. Smith was a talker from St. George. Now, I could be mistaken. Joyce Tucker Smith. Well, the the lady that she was speaking about was Mr. Donald Smith's uh, sister. Sister, sister-in-law or sister, not his okay. wife. Okay, okay. My apologies. Thank you. All right. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Um, I got a, I got a, I just got another customer on the WhatsApp. She says, does she have any information? Good afternoon. Does she have any information on the Tacklin family? No, I only know that I had uh, a sister-in-law who was a Tacklin. We called her Tacklin, and we had some Tacklins that lived just on the hill here on Palmetto Road. But I have never really researched into the Tacklin family. Okay, I know they have some Tacklins down down St. George's, or I know of one Tacklin down yeah, St. George's. Yeah, no, I haven't researched them. Okay, um, the lady um, said, uh, "Does gentleman just text in? A good friend of mine says, please ask the lady about the Govia family, and my condolences to the Govia family as well." And I haven't researched the Gavirs either. Okay, but I know that the Gavirs, they, I, the, 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 the knowledge that I have so far is that the Gavirs, they come from, some of them come from St. Kitts. Mm-hmm. And you'll find most, most of the folk that have come in here are, are from the various islands and then the Turks, Turks and Caicos, because I also researched and found out that the the Bassett name was very synonymous with out there in the Turks and Caicos as well. Yeah, and that's and um, one one of one of the things that we'll love to do in the near future is to get someone from someone from the uh, Ministry of Culture in Turks and Caicos to give us a history lesson because 
the reality is that the Turks and Caicos Island was founded by Bermudian slave masters who took mm-hmm. the slaves down to down to um, Turks and Caicos. It, apart from the, I guess you'll say, indigenous um, persons there, right. the first black people and white people in Turks and Caicos came from Bermuda. Came from Bermuda. And yeah. they stayed down there. Mm-hmm. Some stayed, some came back. So you have names such as Aswood, yeah. Friff, yeah. Durham, Butterfield, Bean. Yeah. They spell it different down there. Mm-hmm. Um, Missick. Yeah. Um, so on and so forth. They're actually, te- technically, they're Bermudians. Yeah. And if you list, if you actually listen to the accent, it's, some of them depend on if they come from this island called Soul Island or Soul Key. Mm-hmm. You couldn't tell the difference between them and a and a regular Bermudian. Right. And like I said, we had um, um, you know in in the early time here in the islands, you you also had persons who who were born here as Bermudians, and then decided that like you say they would leave here and go to places like Turks and Caicos. And we have mass amounts of people also in the U.S. area, you know, in, in New Jersey, Washington, and places like that. You're going to find a lot of family connections in those areas because people left here years ago to go go out there to make their homes. It wasn't always the case like now we're saying, oh, we're going away because things are better. This was something that seemed like it always happened, that persons, a lot of our elders, left here to go away because they figured that things would be better for them overseas. Mm-hmm. And they stayed out there and, and the mom, you know, had their family and what have you out there. Okay. And and to one of your other questions when we're asking about is is you know the people down in in that area the Hamilton Parish area about the the relationships, well we have to realize that in in the early parts of Bermuda days you had persons who married, but if the wife died and many of them died in childbirth, the husband would almost immediately remarry. So you would have those two lots of family. If the wife left two or three children and the husband remarried, then he had another set of children. So mm-hmm. he would have had six children, but then only three by one wife and three by another. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of that story. And and it it has happened. It has happened, and a lot of a lot of the women, because they were having their children so fast that a lot of the women died in childbirth, and if the woman didn't die, she lost the children because they were having them so fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my I, my grandmother, to my knowledge, had lost three children. She had 10 children all together, and she lost three, so now that you're saying it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, um, so any researching families in, to, in St. George's? Only the ones that I tell you I just uh, recently researched about last. Uh, the latter part of last year, mm-hmm. and that was the Matthew and the Macintosh okay. that I researched, and that is because my son married a young lady that um, is Macintosh, and the children wanted to find out about their grandparents from her side, and you know we found out that they were Scottish on the Matthew and the Macintosh, and we also found out that her great ancestor was responsible for building the monument down there in Summer's Gardens. Okay. In the research. So in part of this, um, the, let, let, let me ask you this, sir, Brother Dawn. Oftentimes, someone will bring, uh, someone here and introduce them to their parents, and the parent will say, so here's your people? Mm-hmm. Or they look, take one look at them and say, I ain't even got to ask who your daddy is. Mm-hmm. That was all the time. And then, the and then they pull the, the child to the side out of the son or daughter and say, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Happens all the time. Well, the question was, who is your mama? <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to Emotional Journey. We have another call in line for you, Mrs. Tucker, George yeah. Wilson Tucker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, good afternoon, dear brother, brother Chris, Linda Bogle I'm almost afraid to ask about my family, man. Hmm. They trust that they're going deep, man. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask about my family. He might tell you some things I don't want to know. But I find the whole um, conversation quite fascinating. So I'm going to take a stab at her and ask her to tell me about the Bow family. 
my grandmother was Marjorie Bow. My aunt is Phyllis Bow, and my uncle is David Houston Bow. You know anything about the Bow? Was David Bow the one that attended the Salvation Army? Sorry? Did David Bow, was he one that attended Salvation Army? Um, could be, could be. My grandma used to go to Salvation Army, and my mother went to Salvation Army, Ida Mae Bow. Mm-hmm. Well, the only Bow I know that we are connected to was the Kate Bow. And she came out of out of um, St. George's. Her her family lives in St. George, and we were connected to Kate Bow. But I I haven't dug that far into the Bows. Like I say, I I looked at the titles of my lineage, and that's what got me into doing what I've done. But when persons have asked and given me a name like De Shields, I'm now trying to research the De Shields and the grants, because I know that that's some of my ancestral line, that my great-grandfather married a grant, and then one of the children was a DeShields, and out of the five children that she had, only one survived. And so I'm trying to find the DeShields. But the Bowles that I I know, like I said, was Kate Bow, who who married a Dill. And then it was, I knew Mr. David Bow that went to Salvation Army. But that's as much as I would know about the bowels. Okay, what about on the other side, the other doing a side? The Burgess family from down there at um, oh, no. Devil's Hill, Arnest Burgess and all of this. Well, you've got your, you've got your Burgesses that um, is, would be connected to Norris Burgess and all from down there in the Hamilton Parish area. He attends Bethel. Those no, I don't think they were Hamilton Parish. They were from... Um, Devil's Hill in that in that area right there. No. no, the Burgesses that I've I've managed to come across would be connected to the Ferberts, like I told you that everybody is there um, connected. Okay, okay, uh, thank you. I could I could live with that. I could live with that. <laughs> You'll still probably. That's why you marry. Sometimes you gotta marry out of the country, man. When you hear these conversations. No, not doing good yet. I've got, I've got something for you. Looking okay, at what I've from? researched in some of the Farber family, the great great grandmother of one of these persons was named Mary Bow, and the grandfather was George Trot. Okay, okay. So don't I get haven't too brought excited. any you of that be, in. You'd my... probably be married into some of your family. <laughs> Oh, no, okay, no, no, okay, I don't want to talk to you no more, I'll go, don't tell me no more. <laughs> All right, I, pre- I appreciate you, okay. and thank you for this wonderful experience Alrighty. in Black History Month. Lineage right. is very important. Okay. Bye, Sister Linda. Bye there, brother. Well, there's a, there's a friend of mine ain't lighted up like this in quite some time, Mrs. Joy Wilson Tucker. Yeah, well, it's important for us, I think, to know family because I've said we've had, with, with what is taking place here in the island right now with uh, a lot of our young adults, I would have to say, when they're going wrong here with the, with the violence and all, half of them are killing cousins and whomever, and they don't even realize that they're doing it. Mm-hmm. because no one has really taken the time to sit down and tell them who their relatives are. Yeah, that's for sure. So let let me take a wild stare, but any research into families from St. David's? No. Okay. No. Okay, we've got another customer for you. Thank good you. afternoon. Welcome to Motion to Adjourn. Yes, good afternoon, people. Um, the other bridges out of Bay, uh, my granny married a Watson, and she was uh, our only child from Davis Bay. The other bridges, do you know anything about them? I don't know too much about the other bridges, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you, brother. All right, so we'll, um, Elder, we're going to go to a break, and then we'll come back, and we'll wrap up this, this first part of this series. Okay. 
plug into Digicel Plus and get Simply More at Home. With speeds starting at 150 megabytes per second and up, you can stream, work, game, plus more like never before. Enjoy a better Wi-Fi connection in every room with smart Wi-Fi. Get more power and reliability to keep all your devices connected. Enjoy free movies and TV series on demand with every TV plan, plus much more. Digicel at Home Fiber Network gives you Simply More. Call 505011 to sign up today. Digicel Plus, better together. Amy's Kitchen is an independent organic food company, a family business who've been producing wholesome and flavorful foods over 30 years. From their first pot pie right up to a million meals a day and firmly believe in the importance of TLC throughout the entire process. This month we're featuring a range of Amy's organic beans, refried and baked, chilies, medium spicy and beyond, and a multitude of organic soups, minestrone, chunky tomato bisque, cream of mushroom, hearty Thai coconut, and much more. Lindo's, why go anyplace else? And now back to Motion to Adjourn with MP Chris Famous and Dwayne Robinson. Welcome back to Families R Us. Uh, someone just called in and got cut off. If you, could, if you can kindly call back. She, she got cut off. Oh, Miss Wilson's got cut off. Oh. Okay. Good afternoon, caller. You're on, you're on here. Well, Ms. Wilson, if you're listening, can you call us back? Sorry, we got cut off their technology. Too many cousins called in here. Yes, yeah, so if anyone, let me just test send her a WhatsApp. Hello? What? No, I'm trying to get Ms. Wilson on the line. Sorry, Wilson Taco. Please bear with us a minute. Do not adjust your station. Okay, Mrs. Joy Wilson Tucker, you're back. Yes, I was I afraid I would have to answer, start answering the questions. Most likely. <laughs> we have a we have a call. We have a customer on the phone for you. Good afternoon. Welcome to Motion to Adjourn. How may we help you? Good afternoon. Um, definitely a fascinating conversation tonight. Um, I watched a YouTube video not long ago ab about these gala storytellers, and they sounded absolutely Bermudian. And I wondered if Miss Wilson knew of any connection to Bermuda from the Gullah um, people in, I believe they were from South Carolina. Gullah greet you. Gullah greet you. I don't, I don't think so. I, I didn't hear them, so I wouldn't know. Um, no. Well, I, I can give you a little, I know, see, I know a little bit something. Mm -hmm. The Gullah, the Gullah greet, Gullah greeches, they actually, if you listen to people from the Bahamas, mm -hmm. They sound similar to, not quite, but somewhat like Bermudian dialect. Mm -hmm. And if you listen to the Gala Grichi, um, their, um, their accent is based from that because the Gala Islands are off the coast of, of the Carolinas. Mm -hmm. So remember that the, how, how it went was that at one point slaves were either escaping from Bermuda or being um, exiled from Bermuda, and right. they went down to the nearest places where either North Carolina, right. or um, if you go down to um, go down further, you got the Bahamas, right? Mm -hmm. So All I'm right. just going. I'm going to play a little um, Galagrici. Yeah, hold on, hold on. So that's 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 why the accent sounds sounds somewhat familiar. And um, but yeah, so if you if you listen, if anyone knows anybody from Bahamas or Turks and Caicos, you will know that the um accents are familiar. To walk with me. So this is a Gallagher folk singer. When I'm on 
may she's a descendant of West African slaves from from the Caribbean. The geographic isolation from inland communities helped them retain a culture and a accent. Specific. Mm. So hopefully that answers the question. Yeah, thank you. All right. Have a good evening. No problem. Okay. Bye. So, uh, Mrs. Joy Wilson Tucker, I have yes. good news and bad news. Yeah. Which part you want to hear for us? Well, you better give me the bad news, the and I'll collect myself to hear the good news. Well, the bad news is we're running out of time. Mm-hmm. Now, the good news is we could do this every other month or so. You know, you're going to organize a forum to bring in other people that have researched their families. Well, I, I, well, I hope, you know, I, I have to search around, but the way the phone lines will, the way the phone lines will hit, lighten up today, we haven't seen that here for quite some time. Mm-hmm. So everybody's like, oh, did I marry my cousin? Let me call and check now. It's an interest. it's a very, extremely interesting topic. Mm-hmm. And, um, I, I, you know, I've definitely enjoy researching and you find out the the type of work that members of your family and cousins go into and things like that there. So what I feel that once a person does something like that, you, you walk around with a sense of pride, mm-hmm. definitely a sense of pride, and you, and you know who your relatives, you know. And yeah, like, I, like I told our, our group at the, when we had our reunion, if the queen could marry her 11 to 11 cousin, why can't we? <laughs> we'll get into that one. <laughs> we'll get into that one. Well, thank you, Mrs. Joy Wilson Tucker. And we, um, I just also, um, I know this is something that you will know about. I read an article in Bernie's today about a, um, a lodge that has the, now has their, a lot of their artifacts now being preserved up at the National Museum. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to, um, thank those persons because that is an important part of our history as 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 black Bermudians because yeah. um without without the lodges and the friendly societies, black Bermudians after slavery wouldn't have been able to make the progress that they did. Yeah. I can totally agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we still have a long way to go. Yeah. But oh a, a lady sent you know, before because if I don't mention it she said to ask you about the uh, Black History Museum. Yeah, what about it? Um, no, she just said, uh, let me see, being this is Black History Month, please ask Aunt Joy to touch on the Black Museum in St. George's. Okay, uh, very briefly. The, the museum is reopened. We open it three days a week from 10 to 2. We have a vast amount of history there. We cover Mary Prince, Sally Bassett, Minna, Minna Love. We talk about, the, we have the football exhibits there, cricket exhibits there, farm exhibits there. We have a standing exhibit that, that um, relates to just about all the lodges in Bermuda. We have a political room. We have uh, the music room that covers all the aspects of our music from band music to jazz to gumbays. Um So it's, it's a, a school away from school. Okay. And, uh, and I would ask, you know, plead for them to come along down and, and just have a look-see. The, the admission to come in is only $5 per person. Less, than, you less than a beef pie. I don't know, but you can get the beef pie next door. No, I said less than a beef pie. Less, oh, less than a beef pie. I was going to say you can patronize Mr. Frabert's son next door. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank you. The lady says that. Thank you. That's what I wanted to know. So mm-hmm. thank you, Mrs. Joy Wilson Tucker. This lady says auntie, so maybe she's your, yeah, one of your relatives. Yeah, no, know. no, not really. I have a lot of, the, out of respect, they call me auntie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. And uh, lady, you so a lady close to me says thank you to my Mersley Club friend. Okay. All right. Thank you, Alda, and we'll yes. talk another time. Uh, I know who that lady is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we can't call the names. Don't call no, the names. I'm not going to call any names. Just give them my regards. All right. The tune in here from down the island. All right. All right. Thank okay. you. Have thank a good afternoon. Too. Right. Right. 
Brother jo Brother Dawn? Yes, sir. So we've come to the end of another show. Good show. A lot of information. Mm -hmm. um, you got some folks out there that are kind of nervous. So like, oh, I, you know, <laughs> let me check first. Then I can probably call next time. Yeah. If I don't find any uh, uh, answers that I'm looking for, mm. I'll call back. All right. Um, so we're going to close up today. And next week's show, we are going to start another series uh, on Bermuda's political history because not necessarily recent political history. So if you think you're going to hear about this and that, no. We're going right back to the start, 1600s, of when politics first started in Bermuda. What was the structure? Who got to vote? Where was the House of Assembly at the time? House of Assemblies at the time. And we, our special guest is going to be, one of our special guests for this series is going to be the Honorable John Barrett, who has a lot of political history, knowledge of political history, and others will be joining as we go through the course of the year because what one of the aims of this show is not the back and forth with conspiracy theories. We are going to be informing the people of this island. Brother Dawn? Yes, once again. Thank you very much and we close out the show and until Thursday, February the 17th, motion to adjourn is adjourned. And you have been listening to Motion to Adjourn with MP Chris Famous and Dwayne Robinson. You're locked to Power 95, Bermuda's big station at 94.9 FM, a Bermuda Broadcasting Company station.